I'm about to take you on a walk through the Trail of Dreams. The Trail of Dreams is something that my father started working on about 18 years ago. He passed away this January, and my cousin and I a few weeks ago finished up the last couple of projects that he had planned for the trail. And I wanted to take a look, though, at the work that we do, the things that we create, and I want us to look at it from a God perspective, starting with the very first chapter of the Gospel of John. Chapter 1, verse 1 through 5 goes this way. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Specifically, I want us to look at verse 3. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. I'm Scott Hilgendorf with Cowboys of the Cross, and this is The Short Go. That opening in the Gospel of John is very powerful when you take the time to study and understand what he is doing, which is setting the stage for his entire Gospel, which is an account of about three years of Jesus' ministry and the work that he came here to do before his death on the cross and uh, the fulfillment of God's plan of salvation for us, that through belief that our sin separates us from God, that he has to punish that sin won't allow it in his presence, but that through Jesus that he died to take that punishment meant for our sins, that by repenting, truly, truly repenting of our sin and asking to be forgiven, that we can be saved and receive what he did for us by taking the punishment that was otherwise meant for us. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. It's not the best detailed explanation of the gospel, but that's the gist of it. And so John is setting the stage to show us just how Jesus is God amongst us and just how incredible what we're about to read through his gospel is going to be. But I wanted to focus on that third verse about how everything is from God, made by God. Nothing that we do is done without him. Anything we make is made by him. So when my dad started this trail 18 years ago, there was nothing here except a woodlot that ran along a small river called Mo Creek in Newstead, Ontario. And along that river, this woodlot, he took the time, years of just cutting the path that you're seeing right now. But regardless of the work that my dad did, all of the things around here just, I mean, randomly happen to be, you know, that's something that's blooming right now. But all of the things here that are growing, all of the stuff would exist if we never set foot here. If the Ojibwe had never been here before us, all of this would still be here. And that was my experience when I first visited the mountains in in East Tennessee and realized that there was just so much that existed without us and that all of this would continue with or without my presence or anyone else's presence. It made me realize there had to be a creator. There had to be what we, at a minimum, people that may not believe the Bible are willing to at least believe that there was intelligent design, that all of this couldn't have been by accident. And that's what set me on the path towards believing the gospel, because I started to seek out, well, what religion is true, what religion is right about all of this. And the Bible was the only thing that made sense. So a verse like, verse like that, especially that third one, it just reminds me then of, you know, the things that we make. They, uh, they don't exist without our creator first having created us, created the materials that we work with, created the imagination that sparked something like this in my dad to to create this trail as a gift to his community. And from a Christian standpoint, of course, what we want to focus on then is understanding that if all of this was created by God, given to us by God to be stewards of, to use, that the things that we do here should glorify him just the same way his creation does all the things around the beauty of those mountains when i first saw them the beauty of this place point to god they glorify him that's that's how i was first able to believe in him so then if that's the case then so should the things that we make glorify him and that's part of the reason for trying to do that message here is to help take this what whether my dad fully understood that or not, what God inspired him to do and point it, a walk along this trail, is point it to the gospel so that others might come to a saving faith in him 
or at least start to ask those questions that there must be more. There must be more than what, what we made, the things that we created. But we look around and see all of this to at least be willing to believe there's something more than us. And if we can do that, if we could dig into the Bible and see the biblical truths that are there and realize that the Bible is in fact teaching us something that doesn't contradict itself, that really is God's perfect word to us, and come to a saving faith in Jesus Christ. Till the next time. Cowboysacross.com, guys. It's a great place to find some stuff to teach you more if you want to understand this stuff better. Uh, lots of teaching there. Our YouTube channel now, there's over 150 videos there to help get you some of the basics of what you believe. Hope you guys will check that stuff out. Till the next time.